Hey guys, and happy October. Uh, welcome to Play Prison. It's going to be one of our uh, three playthroughs for this uh, this Too Spooky For Me month. Uh, first off is going to be... Drunks and Dragons. Playing through Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. And I'm here commentating. That's Ballistic Robot to all you folks. Yeah, and Chris Fearing as always. So, we got it on the... Like, now this is a... This is this is this is a strange game, because it started as a GameCube exclusive, yeah, and then they put it on PS2, made it easier for all those PS2 guys that can't handle the hardcore GameCube games. Was it actually easier on the PS2? Yes, because people complained about how hard it was. Wow. On the GameCube, so they put it on PS2, made it easier, and added a bunch of stuff. Wow, I played the PS2 version where it was easier than. <laughs> and then they ported it to the Wii. And gave it, like, the best controls for a third-person shooter I've ever played. Then they ported it everywhere else, because people fucking love this game. <laughs> put it on Xbox Arcade, which I have as well. Uh, put it on PlayStation Network. And then they put it on Steam under the HD Remake tag. But it, heavy like... Heavy air quotes there. No, no, no. Heavy, heavy-ass air quotes, because I've seen, like comparisons and it's just quite literally HD and just like these same textures <laughs> so you can clearly see where the polygons are but like all the textures are still the same to the point where people have modded the Steam version so all the textures are actually upgraded oh nice huh. but either way my opinion this is the best version I know back in sophomore year yeah Sophomore year, we played the shit out of this, and we oh, would yeah. constantly try to match, it, like try to best each other's mercenaries. I'll be going scores. back to uh, old ground with this. So, um, yeah, I was gonna say this isn't exactly the most scariest game, but it's scarier than the other Resident Evils, like five and six. Well, yeah, I mean, like Ooh. six is scary because like the the boss fights get rough, and like the first part is cool because you're Leon and you're going through a campus and it's slow zombies. Five, I'll stick by five is, a, like, a little less scary than four, but it's still right there. It's te The only reason it's not as scary is because you're not by yourself. Yeah. But, like, the first you, you time... You have someone there to waste your ammo for you. Yeah. Thanks. But the first time playing through this mm -hmm. is scary as shit, because you got no idea what the fuck's going on. Even if you watch the trailers, you're not going to know when shit's going to happen. So, go ahead and mash start, and let's dive into this. Oh, I'm going to... I was going to talk about the, uh, the face it. I saw. Oh, okay. Where's this face? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's this face? Okay, this is going to look sound even dumber now that I'm explaining this. Okay, you see the little scratch in the four on the uh, the first part? That looks yeah. like an ear to me. And then you got, like, this weird kind of, like, blowed out portion in the bottom right corner. You can use... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pointing there. That'd, that, that'd be, like, court, one eye on the, on the left side. And then you got another eye right around here. You got, like, the bottom here kind of coming into, like, um, the jaws or perhaps even just a set of fangs. I don't know. It's just me seeing things. And also, I just remember an old Game Informer talking about that idea. Huh. Uh, Back when it was, like, still way early development, and the only images were, like... There we is. Was, uh, freaking, what's his name? Leon... Uh, is it Leon? Yeah, Leon Kennedy talking about... Or like in some kind of weird um, industrial hallway or something. Oh, that's back when that's back in Alpha. Yeah. When yeah. it was when it was about like a, a fog that would possess yeah. people and you were on airships and in castles. Yeah. And then they were like, This really doesn't work. And that became freaking Devil uh, May Cry. Devil May Cry. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. Devil May Cry would have never been without Resident Evil Four. Without Resident Evil Four. That'd be kinda cool to play too this month. Is Devil May Cry. But yeah, you mean first Devil one. the first Devil May Cry actually came out. After Resident Evil 4? Yes. Bullshit. I thought that thing came out, like, way before that. But might have come out... Yeah, I think it might have come out way before it. I just know that, like, it, Alpha... It was from Alpha, this idea. No, no, I know. But it was, like, Alpha Resident Evil 4. Yeah. They took the stuff they liked, and then the rest of the stuff, they were like, this doesn't work for Resident Evil title. And one of the other guys was like, I can make something out of this, and yeah. made Devil May Cry. All right, I'll be going to New Game. I yep. want to say new, uh, Devil May Cry came out, like, freshman year of high school. Resident Evil It's been a first in history. Because I know... Oh, we get cutscenes with dated shit. Just go to normal. normal. Uh, yeah, normal. 
Because I know with uh, with this game out in high school, because I initially borrowed... 1998. Uh, <laughs> that was a while ago. Well, the game takes place in 2004. I know, we're going to get to that, because... The future Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby like mountain one community, Raccoon one of City. The game hit the peaceful intro cutscene that's ingrained in my fucking mind. mind. Oh, really? Because I don't remember this part at all. Yeah. Because just Not taking for the chances, sheer fact that, like, when I originally had my Wii, I played through this game Sterile probably Sterile over 20 times. City. Damn. I don't even own this game, and I've probably played through it, like, the United States eight government eight issued yeah. an indefinite suspension of business. Yeah, quite I haven't played it the one. Like, <laughs> Joanna could probably crashed. almost beat this game. For all oh, just from watching just us from play it us play so much. Damn. Wait, now tell Aaron, tell Aaron that, uh... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Before, before I lead into this story, we have to we have to give this a silent moment for this to kick in. Hold on. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Metal Gear Solid. I received special training. But um. Secret organization. So tell Aaron what happened when you were in the art building after president. playing a shit ton of this game. I, was I opened up some closet and there was some cardboard boxes sitting on the ground, you know, like you do. And I immediately, in my mind, like overlaid Leon and then swiping at them, swiping at them, and then blow and then breaking them for shit. <laughs> and it was so visceral and real and in my face <laughs> that I quite literally had to <laughs> shake the image from my head. I was like, I was like, oh, anyway, shook my head. I was like, oh, what? What? Like, it was bizarre. It, it was wacky. It was the most. I was like, that's when I realized I played far too much of the game. Yeah, the, dude, that's the, the fucking models for this are actually shit. better than I remember. So. Oh, no, they are yeah. actually. I'm, I'm actually impressed. This is a PS1 or P, like PS2 uh, being you grow game. Yeah. Well, later, later, later PS2. To be honest, though. True. The cool thing about this though is like, I'm counting on you. PS2 didn't do anything to the graphics when they got it from GameCube. Mm. And the Wii version didn't do anything for it when they got it from the PS2. Pulling up here in my truck. It isn't my truck that I'm not even driving. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural now, part of Europe. Playing this this many times, there's reliable like, information. I've got I've got a, a theory very about this scene. President's daughter. Interesting. Apparently, she's being. Because you know, like while he's peeing, something watches him from the woods. Oh, that's the that that first, first person view we got. Rescue mission. Yeah. Okay. This. Oh. What is your theory? <sighs> it's that dog. It's freezing. Oh. You find in the bear trap that you can outside. help out. Oh, that makes sense. Because it's lower to the ground. It doesn't seem imposing, it's just like checking shit out. Ah, must be my imagination. But like, it's Resident Evil, so everything seems imposing. Well, yeah. Sorry. But I mean, still, so like, the fact that it's so low to the ground, and you don't hear, like, any noises... I can't tell, but I think I just detected a slight tilt of the vehicle as he got in. Oh, yeah, there was. That's impressive. Yeah. I'm very impressed. Fucking bends down on its hydraulics. Yeah. It's legit as shit, man. God, in 2004. Like... God damn, that was like 11 years ago. <laughs> this game's in middle school. Yeah. Just wait. At some point, this game no, will no, be no, old no. early, early, right? early high school, yeah. right? Because we were out of middle Just school by 2004. Games. He's talking about 11. Talking about the game itself. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'll go and have a look around. Can we stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Parking tickets. Good luck. God, I love the cutscenes in this game. Like, they... Jeez. Who Man, are these guys? They've got a little... Did you say something? they got a little bit of camp to it, but mainly it's like... It's some pretty legit writing. Yeah. Leon. Leon has the most camp, me? but it's okay I'm because he's an American I'll action My hero. waifu in this game. <laughs> Loud and clear. I'll take Somehow Ashley. I thought you'd be a little older. <laughs> I'd go from the other <laughs> anyway. His name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to be you know, yourself, okay? of the United fucking states. You Whoever know, the country that you're from, the you wrong ass. Girl to kidnap. 
I'll try to find some more information. But no, they, I, they repeat well. things for slow players who have, like, skipped all Talk the cutscenes for dumb stuff. No, no. Yeah. Oh, well, you can skip all these, too. Oh, God. So they just so you can really reiterate just, like, shit for just silly people. And now the game's somehow... Now, are you all right playing this sitting down? So I should kind of like your T-Rex arming right now. I should be. You remember the trick right here? Uh, yeah. I, well, okay, I know I can shoot these birds. Yeah. There's one more. Where is that son of a bitch? It's right there. Right there. I see him. Yay, and now you got free money. Look. Yes! I shot that crow and he dropped spindles. And Wow. And there's a pack of crows further up this path before you even get to the village, and if you shoot all of them, <laughs> the last one you shoot will drop a grenade. Whoa. Like fucking taking candy from goddamn Spanish people. <laughs> now the cool thing is, if you continue along the path to your right, you'll see the fucking truck is right there blocking the way. You can't go further, and that's the truck that actually plays a part in the next cutscene. Oh, neat. Yeah. Yeah, and don't forget there's a crate on the other side of the house. Spooky, scary skeletons. Now remember, you can just waggle the Wiimote in this and he'll auto knife oh, yeah, whatever's that's right. closest. Uh, what did I, what did I, I say? I don't have, just gold. Whenever I don't have anything useful to contribute, I will probably be doing that. <laughs> Singing spooky, scary skeletons? Yep. Let's have an interview with this guy. Interview so, well, with the vampire. I'm getting like super fucking absorbed into this again because it's been so long. I always thought the action moved really smooth, like oh, the it animation. Does. Uh, excuse me. Now, the question Sir? is, why this guy don't is... one of us speak Spanish? To tell I'm dumb. what everybody says. I'm Because oh. I'm dumb. Because I'm dumb and I never bothered to learn, even though my dad speaks it vaguely-ish. Kind of alright. Well, now, here's the, here's good the enough, weird actually. thing. Watch. That Turn. turns all the way around. <laughs> I always think of that shit, and I think of the uh, episode of uh, John Tron where he where talks about the response. It's like, why would you turn all the way? Sorry to have bothered you. Yes, my bad, dude. He, like, yeah, no, no joke. You call the him a cabron. Animations are so smooth. smooth. Get the fuck out of here. The facial expressions like work. They're not like. Yeah. They're not like weird. Like, oh, they just half-assed this. To be fair, he could probably get away with this murder in real life because. Uh, he's in another country. Shot to the head makes him cr cover his face. It's all coming back to you, isn't it? It's like riding a fucking bicycle. It's almost like it really never left. Yeah. What's going on? You know, the reason why he could have gotten away with this murder is not just because he's in another country. He's got an American with a gun drawn in his house. He can say whatever the fuck. Oh, he oh, that guy could have gotten away yeah. with the murder. Okay, I thought you were talking about Leon. Oh no, Leon can get away with it because he's an American and he could just be like, he came at me with an axe. <laughs> But like an asshole, I'm walking around your country armed. Is everything to the okay? There was a hostile local. Yeah, it was a great idea. No choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. And like as soon as granted, he came. He like walked into that dude's house. Understood. <laughs> with a gun drawn. Yeah. <laughs> sneaking around. Why do we keep calling her oh. the subject? Yeah, the chick. He's not a zombie. <laughs> oh no. wait, you can go look in his closet though. Oh yeah. Ugh. You can go in there and check. Not a just go in and check it. Oh, cool. He likes creepy. He just, just hit check. Like, just hit check. Some cool. Dark. Zoom in. Looks like they kill a lot of people. Man, maybe they have some Dark Souls cosplays. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, the skin's still on that one on the top shelf in the middle. Yeah. It's just like, you look at this and you're like, oh, he was just a serial killer. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, I just helped kill a serial killer. I'm a good guy. Maybe that's, maybe that's just all his relatives that died of, like, dysentery. Oh, good. The upstairs of his house is just a table. With Maybe 2004 ammo. Spain is just like constantly the Oregon Trail. Now you can do it two different ways. They won't come into the house. They've barred the door from the outside. You can break the window and shoot them, or you can just jump out. You can break this window? No, no, no. The window upstairs. Oh. I wonder what the master plan is for mm -hmm. them. They locked you in a door, so they locked you in the house. Are they hoping like reinforcements will come? They just starve They'll you out. Set the house on fire. Set the house on fire. Yeah. Find out from the boss what they want to do, and then is he'll one say of the guys the holding a torch. <laughs> Wee. Well, they probably want to get. get it. Well, maybe they want to get right in the middle of all of them. Remember, there's three guys. Hmm. Nice dodge. Damn. The ridiculous, ridiculous like. <laughs> fucking pitchfork guys. That guy looks like a guy from my work, my old workplace. <laughs> no, seriously, one of the guys in the warehouse looked like. Like that dude. Alright, kill all of them. 
You can tell a minimum of like f- friggin' three shots because you kicked a lot of them. And That's you can crazy. always you can. It, I know that you guys are super efficient about the ammo in this, and I love seeing that. Yeah. No. The good game. You can always tell what's a good game, because as soon as all the opponents are dead, the music stops. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm serious. Well, I know that games do that in general. I'm just trying to think of what games don't. Think do of that. yeah. Think about all the think about all the games that like people will wait, or just think about like the really really bad players that waste ammo oh. shooting guys after they've died. This is the wrong oh, house. Yeah. For what? I'm thinking of the one that's got the, the uh, woman on with the, the pitchfork. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this Go is down my game. The two. Okay. This music, yo. Yeah. Dog. This music's fine. But there's the music for the safe haven that goes kind of like... That one always makes me uneasy. Because it is, it is not a pleasant song in the slightest, no, it's in not. my opinion. It's weird. It's it's like, oh, a port in a storm, but I don't want to be here either. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Like, I'm strangely comforted and I know I'm safe, but hot damn if they don't want to make you just leave with this music. All right, music. more crows. Oh, well, you got gold and you got a grenade. The other one is going to be on the ground. Somewhere. Man, you remember where the fucking crows are. Also, check out their road signs. <laughs> Looks like a warning of some well, sort. So, yeah, it's not a road sign, it's a warning. I have a bad feeling about this, said every Star Wars character ever. Yep. Said most people in most movies. I just, I don't understand how that's considered a Star Wars line. Um, they, were, they, reused, a, they oh, reused the line. They reused uh, a lot. A lot. Like, now be careful uh, of the other bear yeah, it's Don't waste it, your ammo, just skirt around them. Especially right now. It's said in every Star Wars, that's why. Can I even make out the scribblings on this shit? Pueblo. <laughs> oh, dude, Pueblo's that way. <laughs> Can't wait to hang out with Ple- Pueblo. Me and Pueblo go f- down by the schoolyard. Right? I, gotta go fight the, I gotta go fight the Pueblos. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pueblos. Okay, oh, now. Oh, shit. It's the... There you go. I remember there's a one down. that one like gray haired dude that's gonna be down, up there. Down, be like, Look out, he's coming to steal my fashionable hat. Kick him. Kick him. Knife him. I love that freaking Stick it right up his jacksey. <laughs> and he's dead. These are low level enemies. He was an old zombie. <laughs> he was an old zombie? It's just whatever the fuck they are. Plaga. Ganado. Ganado. Which go. I know the actual fucking translation for that one. What is that one? Cattle. Ew. Yeah. I know there's a guy in this fucking. No, there's not a guy in this one. Oh, there's not. That's further on. But this is the one where the woman is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, get a better view of this shit. I didn't cook dinner right. You gotta think. This was a this was a regular town, and then one day they all went crazy, kind of. And then this mo- the this blood is, recent. is still dripping. Yeah. This motherfucker walked up to this woman, pinned, stabbed her in the face, and then lifted her up and hoisted her because she came to yeah. pin her to the wall. Good lord. Actually, that fucking pitchfork is embedded. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, they were trying to make an example out of her. It was more than one person, and one guy kind of held her up while the other guy, like, stabbed her through the face. Man. And did that, like, stabbing, two-hand stabbing motion. God. Or if, like, maybe it was the fucking chief of the town. Maybe. The dude in the long coat held her up and then, like, one-handed a pitchfork through her head. Yeah, this is just the two guys. One uh, fisherman Fred here. <laughs> fisherman <Kick>. Fred. <laughs> He's dead. You heard his the sigh official... of death. I was gonna say the official candy of uh, and when we fight like heroes. Yes, exactly. Fisherman friends. Now, see, one of the coolest things. Do you seriously only have two shots left? Reload. Oh, okay. I won't, yeah, I only have two shots on my gun, but I don't. I don't have more than two shots. That, I was like, you've been you've been super conservative, and you only have two. Okay, stop. Stop, stop for a second. Stop for a second. Well, you can see the guys further up. Turn, turn the other way. Further up the path. You see them. You can't hit them. But you see them and they see you and run off to warn the village. Or are they warning someone else? Because when you get to the village, nobody notices you. I was going to say, they go off to warn the village. But the thing I like, like, and I've just, it's gotten to the point where I've played it too much. If you just, like, look around. Like, look to your right. Keep looking. Look down. That's where the water's flowing from. Oh, just the fact that yeah. it actually has a source. Just like, yeah, just like if you stop and look around in this game, you notice, like, a lot more little areas. You were like, huh. Oh, yeah, dude. There's there's plenty of games where, like, in Metal Gear Solid, I'll, I'll, I've, I've sat around and watched a show like that. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, if yeah. you play a game enough, yeah. you start to, like, really appreciate the other things yeah. that were put into the game. Now, this is the one with the dude in it. Because you can kind of see... I knew one of them had a guy in it. 
Yeah, that was going to say, just run past an about face. He didn't come out until you pass it. What the hell? Yeah, he got cut out mid-line. Nice. Oh. I told you, they're low-level guys here, man. Since you ain't got to worry about any kind of bursters, these guys go down fairly simply. Always want to swipe twice. Yep. Swipe right. Okay, hang on. Swipe twice, Wait. cut once. <laughs> We're going to see what's behind this gate. And in the village. Next time on Play Person. So we will oh. see. <laughs> so we will see you guys then. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye.